Hello everyone. I welcome you all to the session. Today we are going to discuss grade 10th CBSC chapter Glimpses of India part 3 Tea from Assam by Arup Kumar Datta. So this story revolves around the famous beverage tea and it talks about its history and discovery. So let's get started. We have two classmates Pranjol and Rajveer, who are traveling by train to Assam. Both of them study in a school in Delhi. Rajveer is from Delhi and Pranjol is from Assam, which is known as the tea country. The state has the maximum number of tea plantation in the world. Pranjol's father is a manager of a tea garden in Upper Assam. So Pranjol has invited Rajveer to spend summer vacation with him at the tea estate. So now the train stopped at one of the stations and the two boys got two hot cups of tea from the vendor. And they noticed that everyone in the compartment is drinking tea. Pranjol tells Rajveer that tea is a very popular drink. Rajveer seems to have studied a lot on this and he tells Pranjal that more than 80 crore cups of tea are drunk every day throughout the world. That's true. So the train leaves the station and Pranjal gets busy reading a detective book. But Rajveer prefers to enjoy the beautiful scenery outside. It's green, green everywhere. And he's thrilled to see rows of tiny tea bushes as far as the eye can see. Doll-like figures were moving in those rows of bushes. There were women who were plucking tea leaves from the bushes. Rajveer tells Pranjal about the various legends he's known about origin of tea. One legend, one tale was about this Chinese emperor who always boiled water before drinking it. And one day, few leaves of the twigs fell into the boiling water. They gave water a delicious flavor. It is said that they were tea leaves. There is an Indian legend also. It says that an ancient Buddhist ascetic, ascetic means where you self-discipline yourself more on religious lines. Or monk Bodhidharma who fell sleepy during his meditation. So to prevent himself from sleeping, he cut off his eyelids this part. It is said that when he cut off his eyelids, ten plants grew out of his eyelids. The leaves of these plants, when put in water and drunk, could banish sleep. So further, Rajveer highlighted a few facts that stated that tea dates back to 2700 BC and was first consumed in China. So the words like chai, chini have originated from Chinese language. Tea was introduced in Europe quite late in 16th century. To begin with, it was taken as a medicine, not as a beverage. So the two boys got off the train at Mariani Junction. Pranjal's parents had come there to receive the boys and they took the boys in their car to the tea gardens. On their way, Rajveer saw groups of women plucking leaves from the tea plants and they were putting in their bamboo basket on their back. So after an hour's drive, they reached the Dekhyabari tea estate. Their tea garden was stretched upon a vast area of land. All the bushes were cut the same height and they were being taken care of. 
So on the fields, the tea pluckers were seen wearing aprons and carrying their bamboo baskets in order to pluck freshly sprouted leaves. And on their way to the field, Pranjal's father gave way to a tractor that was loaded with tea leaves. And on seeing this, Rajveer flaunts his knowledge by mentioning that this is the second sprouting period of the year that lasts from May to July and gives exceptional, excellent yield. But Rajveer said that he could learn more during his stay. So that's all about the session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.